Alright, welcome back. Most definitely you're wondering, why is my snake inside the bucket? Well, well, it's inside the bucket because we're cleaning the snake. And we use some spray. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say a name brand. But it's a strong spray. It cleans those coils real good. You should see all the dirt and all that sewage and kitchen sink, bathroom, whatever, shower. All that dirt and grind and scum and all that crap gets caught up in the coils. And most definitely, if you got a bucket, just like I said, a bucket, bucket and spray, and most definitely we're going to use some WD-40 after all the cleaning. So what we're going to do, I got the spray soaking on the coils. And most definitely, this is the second time I washed, washed the coils out. And the snake looks way cleaner. It was nasty. It was disgusting. And most times, you know, when you're done with your snake, you always put it away, throw it up under the cover, and pull it out the next time. Do the same thing, same routine, but you'll never clean it. You'll never oil it or WD-40 it. <laughs> Who knows what you do at home. It all depends on your time, how much time you got to spare. Most definitely being a plumber, I have a lot of time to spare. And uh, we got some soap over here, too. We're going to grab some of that and, uh, and pour in the bucket here and, and get that nice and soapy and grab our scrub brush. And we're going to be scrubbing the coils. And that's the other thing that we're going to use is a scrub brush. Let's get down in there. You see all those coils? They look brand new, man. This, uh, this, this drain auger, hand drain, drain auger, I've had for like at least a long time. And those coils, see, I take care of it. Oil it every time. And that's when you're going to get some nice good co coils, nice good cable. You ain't going to never worry about it snapping down the line. And a lot of people, when they uh, abuse their, their tools and stuff, they don't oil it or take care of it. If you do got the time to take care of it, it's going to look nice and clean like this. Especially, you know, coiling it inside the bucket, okay? And then, you know, soap spray whatever you want to use whatever name brand it will get the job done so that was about it just a little quick video and most definitely we've uh, been cleaning our snake for about i don't know 30 minutes or something or so and uh, most definitely make sure you, you oil it because if you don't oil it after all this cleaning what it's going to do it's going to rust then after that you're going to have a broken cable down the line and after that, then you really got to call the plumber. <laughs> All right. So let's save some time. Let's save some money. Most definitely. That's awesome, man. It's tripping me out. How clean those coils are, man. And this is not new. It's old. It's very old. I have, this one of the first hand snakes I ever used when I started plumbing. You know what I mean? As a handyman, I used to put it in my backpack. Man, I, boy, I was hitting so many houses. I had a pocket full of money in no time. I'm telling you. Peace.